Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another grocery haul. Here, I'm gonna share it with you, Aldi, and a very small Walmart haul because Walmart does not have dairy-free items that I, I mean, Aldi does not have dairy-free items that I need for my one child, so I needed to run into Aldi as well. This was like a spur of the moment grocery haul. We did need groceries, but I didn't plan on going until next week. But we were, weren't busy right now, and we're gonna be busy next week, so I was like, you know what? Let's go, let's go right now. And so we packed up and went. I'll show you what we got. This is really just for this week, probably through about the end of March. Um, right now for us, it is March 22nd, it's a Friday. So yeah, this should end end up through about the uh, end of March and then we will start fresh with an April grocery haul. So let me go ahead and share with you what we got. We are a family full-time eating at home, a family of six. So there are others that don't eat here all day, every day like we do, but my husband, we send food with him to work, breakfast and lunch, and we eat dinners at home. And then we have four children homeschooling, well, three technically, and then uh, one that's gonna be three next month. And she likes to do school as well. So we eat all of our meals at home. So we go through a lot of food and I share those kind of videos every single day. So if you're into that kind of stuff, subscribe and here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here we go with our Aldi and Walmart haul. I spent $43 at Aldi, um, no, <laughs> backwards, $43.04 at Walmart and $152.29 at Aldi. So I'll go ahead and share with you what I got from Walmart first because it's just a little bit. So we needed to go in for dairy-free yogurt for my child that cannot have it. So um, we got this pack because to get these, it's cheaper than buying them individually, but she also wanted flavor. So we got four vanilla and then we got peach. I think we got one of each flavor. Strawberry, Ooh. oh my gosh, strawberry, um, blueberry, this is coconut, dark chocolate coconut, and then strawberry. Did we get two strawberry? I don't know. Yeah, two strawberry. Okay. Um, and then I had to get some sour cream because Aldi did not have sour cream. They had name brand sour cream. So their name brand is really expensive. So I skipped it and we just got sour cream from Walmart. I needed sandwich bags. So we grabbed those. I got two bags of this because this is the flour I used to feed my sourdough. So we have other flour that we use for everything else, but this is this, like I try to keep this the same, the unbleached for sourdough. And then my husband used the last of the hot sauce the other night whenever we had something that had to do with tacos. I don't even remember at this point. Um, so we got hot sauce and Diablo sauce from there. I got onions from Walmart because at Aldi, they looked really, really sad and I did not want to get any of the bags that they had. So I was like, well, I'll just skip it. And then we ended up going to Walmart. So I grabbed a bag there. And then um, we had one child ask for strawberry whipped cream or whipped cream, strawberry cream cheese. So we got that from Walmart. And then while we were there, these are my husband's favorite bagels in the world. So while we were looking at the cream cheese, these were right beside it. So I grabbed him some of those as well. And I think that's all we got from Walmart. So nope, hang on. I got this too. We have a child about to turn three. So we grabbed her a really cute birthday candle. So that was our $42 Walmart haul or 43, whatever I said earlier. I can't remember. And then the rest is from Aldi. So we got some sweet potatoes, two packs of tortillas. We got bagels. These were on sale this week. So we got everything in plain, a bag of potatoes. And then we got some zucchini. These were also on sale this week. Avocados, two cream cheeses. These were also on sale. I mean, I don't know if it's technically sale, but like those were their markdowns for the week. Cookies were also marked down. I needed more steak seasoning. I just used the last of it the other day. Uh, the kids asked for these pickles. This is what they've been into already. They've already opened them and started eating them. These sauces also were marked down this week. So I've never tried these from Aldi, but they looked really good. So we got an orange stir fry sauce and a general shows stir fry sauce. So I don't really have any plans for those, but like I said, they were like marked down and I was like, those look really, really good. So might as well grab them. This um, pasta sauces were also marked down, so I grabbed two of those. I needed some banana peppers because we're going to do, um, I think we're going to do like a Mississippi roast this week. So I grabbed those. Uh, we grabbed more ketchup because we always just need more ketchup. <laughs> always. At any given time, we need ketchup. We got some more tostadas, graham crackers. We had one child pick up some brownie mix and then some more crackers. And the kids also picked out some cereals, so they got fruit rounds and berry kids crunch my parents are coming and i think when they're here we're going to do a taco night because my mom always says she loves taco nights here because at home they don't do taco nights because it's just the two of them she says it's just like it's easier to just not do them and so when they come here we usually do tacos so i grabbed two of these taco shells and 
Oh, the tortillas. Yeah, I already showed you that. Um, I grabbed two more of these mozzarellas because if you watched my last Aldi haul, I told you I got two because I have one child that does not like the thick mozzarella cheese that I get from Sam's Club. So I got two thinner ones. So while I was there again, and those went directly in the freezer because I haven't used them yet, I just went ahead and grabbed two more to throw in the freezer as well because I specifically want to have this kind of cheese for when we do have pizza. And I think we might have pizza this week. So I want to go ahead and have this now, um, but also have some in the freezer for those times when like we want to have pizza but don't have it planned and I have the one child that doesn't like the other kind. She only likes this kind. You know what I mean? So I just don't want to kind of run out of that for her. Um, so anyway, yeah, just that's a long cheese story. We What, baby? Are you coloring? Yeah. So we got two bags of green grapes. Those were also on markdown this week. We got some cucumbers, some pepperoni. <laughs> Funny story. We have a lot of pepperoni in the freezer downstairs from Sam's Club, but my husband has said now that he does not like it. So he prefers the smaller ones. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those, one for now, one for the freezer, just because, like I said, if we do end up having, I haven't meal planned for this upcoming week, but I'm kind of meal planning in my head as I'm going through these things. So I think we'll have pizza, tacos, things like that, a roast, probably some kind of Chinese with that. Um, so yeah, one for now, one for later. Oh, I forgot, I skipped through. Did I tell you we got zucchini and pie crust too from Aldi? So I needed pie crust. Um, I want to make quiche. And there was something else I needed a pie crust for, but I can't remember. But these were also on Markdown this week. It was like a lot of things that I needed were marked down this week, which was great. We got butter, two cream cheese. The crescent rolls, they changed, which is odd. Have yours changed into these bags? At first, I was looking everywhere, and I'm like, where are the crescent rolls? So they're neat now. They're in these bags. Um, we are going to do, with crescent rolls and these marshmallows, a certain, I don't know what they're called, but like, you roll them up and you put Jesus in the tomb and then you bake them and then you open them up and he has risen. He is not there because he's melt. So we're going to do that. That's what the marshmallows and the crescent rolls are for. Um, and then mini marshmallows and toothpicks to make cells, I believe, for science because we are doing, oh, well, you can't see it, but we're doing weather and water and we're doing a health um, on Fridays. So that's what those are for. We got bananas. And some more yogurts. We got chips, always chips. Two bags of tortillas. We got some pretzels and we got some regular chips. My dad usually likes to have chips and sandwiches when he's here. So that's what I got those chips for. And then Mr. Wildman picked out some apple juice. He asked for this, so we got that. The girls wanted orange juice. And then peppers. We like to have these peppers with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning as a snack. Or my kids. Orange juice too. You want orange juice too? Um, or sometimes we'll just eat them. My kids will just walk around eating those peppers. So I grabbed more caramel macchiato creamer for me and French vanilla for my husband while we were there. I really, I got one of these last week and I've really been liking it. So I went ahead and grabbed two more. The, the creamer was also marked down this week too. And then we got oranges that, well, the cuties, the mandarin oranges, those were on marked down this week on sale, whatever you want to call it. We got some apples. We already have another bag and a half left, but we went ahead and grabbed these so I can put them in the fridge downstairs. They'll stay for a long time. And then we got some milk. So we got lactose-free milk. Um, there's no real difference. This is just what they had. So I got 2% and whole milk because that's all they had there. So that's what we got. And that is our grocery haul. What is that? Almost $200 for all of that stuff. So, um, I will share our upcoming meals for this week and you guys will see all of them. And like I said, I haven't meal planned, so I don't really know. I'm just kind of meal planning based off of what I got. So you guys will see them in the upcoming videos. So here's our running total for March. We have spent $529 for the entire month of March so far. So as I said, make sure you subscribe and tune in to watch how we make all these meals. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on our next couple videos where here, I, here you'll see me making all this food. Bye.